installation of a synchronous detector module into tube radio communication receiver TRIO 9R59D is not difficult. The best position for the detector is close to the final stage of the intermediate frequency amplifier. The power supply for the detector comes from the heater of the nearby tube. The detector it's con is connected to the function switch of the radio to the indication LEDs installed above the signal strength meter and to the signal strength meter itself through a series 22 kilo ohm resistor. The original components of the amplitude detector and the automatic gain control removed. The area is covered by aluminum foil which provides shielding. The detector itself is installed on three metal standoffs and all the emissions get sandwiched between the ground plane of the module PCB and the aluminum foil. Nothing is radiated around and therefore there is no problem whatsoever with the detector being so close to the first RF tube. It's always a dilemma whether to use the original SSB detector or the module in the radio. The original SSB detector in this radio is not that bad, but still it's prone to microphonic overloading and noisy. Therefore, the decision was made to keep these components on the PCB, but disable, disconnect them, and use the module I itself for SSB reception. To accomplish that, however, we had to remove uh, the original variable capacitor which controlled the pitch of the bit frequency amplifier and replace it with the variable resistor connected to the module exactly as shown on the website. The audio stage was slightly modified, the negative feedback was applied for better sound quality. The built-in speaker is provided for convenience and the supply voltage to the local oscillator and to the mixer is regulated by the zeners which are hidden in this area underneath the chassis. This was done for the best frequency stability and best results with the synchronous reception. Let's look at the front panel of the radio with the synchronous detector. The first position of the function switch is off. The next position is amplitude detector, standard envelope detector, which is indicated by red and yellow illumination of the S meter. Next, ne next position is synchronous fast mode. Next position is synchronous slow mode. And the last position is SSB, which is quite similar to the original. Let's review the benefits which the synchronous detector brings. Now we are listening to a weak station, and we hear strong interference from the local, more powerful one in the next channel. We can see how the needle of the S meter is being kicked by the splashes of the side bands of the strong interfering station. You can barely hear the program of interest. Switch to the synchronous detector. All of a sudden, the reception becomes clear. All the interference is reduced to occasional high pitched screeches which are barely audible. That's the improvement. Back to the amplitude detector. Terrible snorting of the interference. Synchronous detector. Clear reception. Here is another example of immunity to interference. If you listen, this station is affected by some funny buzzing noise. Switch to the synchronous detector and the noise is pretty much disappears. That's the beauty of the synchronous detector. Uh, the stronger si signal does not destroy the weaker one, 
that gets superimposed on it, and the human ear does the job. Back to amplitude, terrible noise, synchronous, quite listenable. The next advantage of the synchronous detector is simply the high uh, sound quality. When we listen, when we listen to a station and the radio is tuned centrally, the sound is rather muffled because both sidebands are cut by the intermediate frequency amplifier. If we try to uh, make the sound higher and crispier and try to detune the radio, we, we come across high distortion because of suppression of the carrier and uneven sidebands. However, if we, if we switch to the synchronous mode, the sound becomes very crispy and clear, like on real life listening on FM. This is the amplitude detector. This is the synchronous detector. The difference is quite dramatic. Similar example, a station playing music. Now the radio is detuned and in the amplitude detection mode. The sound is very distorted. When the synchronous detector locks on the carrier, the sound becomes very crispy and clear, like on FM again. Let's tune across the band. The, st the station becomes muffled with, when centrally tuned. There is no difference between AM and synchronous in this case. Absolutely no difference. If we continue tuning, the sound becomes nicer and nicer, higher and higher, and then the synchronous detector loses the carrier. This is the next station. The next one. This, the station appears crispy and clear. And then the detector loses the carrier. Then it locks to another station. At any time, only one station is heard clearly. There is no mess. On the short waves, apart from all the above, the main benefit is immunity to fading. Let's listen to a station on the 31 meter band.
飞踩底，非常的矮点。这样子一个外人没有起点，心就舒服了。这样上帝嘛糟糕，到了公门前的孙悟空的手都麻了，我都动了了。但是狗很笨，我都舒服了，从门开口，一门完了。叫你太太一个示范，佮你唔好去比好。呢度人讲周唔周，周唔落双倍。真美，好咁啱时间嘅六条，呢个啲系转倍转周。而家都转变过啦，变过嚟偏远啲嘅呢度。叫你太太发言，原来后面嘅人家啲，我哋六条，我哋赌马 A 啦，听明音，赌马你哋要谈嘅赌马。但系我一八，当叫你太太，以为等周啲，你马上就过掉啦。SSB reception is quite standard. The product detectors in the synchronous detector module are quite linear and the quality is good. Better than in a pentagrid based product detector. Another station in 40 meter band in synchronous mode. 